Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Elena Demonetize. I have my beautiful co-host, Alpha Wolfie, and today we have the super legend iconic Dante Cole joining us, and we have so much to ask you. So without further ado, you guys, let's jump right into this episode of Elena Demonetize. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to those watching across the country. And look who we have here today. We have uh, a co-worker and uh, an amazing person and an amazing performer here. And if uh, you girls don't know and guys don't know, this is Dante Cole. What's up, everybody? And um, we're kind of here to just, uh, we want to break the ice because here on, on Demonetize and even before on Elena Ron Bareback, there's just so much controversy around um, gay for pay. And or or actors who are fluid or actors, male performers who are um, open minded and and but lean towards women. And um, I came on, what, six months ago, five months ago and, and shared a bit about that. And the response was um, got a lot of backlash the backlash. It. And I feel like I'm sure you've you've dealt with this a lot. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. it's just a common theme. And I thought it would be great if we could just uh, just we'll get into that at some point. But um, you know, for those who don't know anything about you, just to kind of break it down: who you are, how you got into the industry, and um, you know where you're at right now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, thank you for that wonderful intro, by the way. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, it just um, uh, getting into the industry. I was just like a you know the 18 year old who just wanted to fuck hot people for money, and I saw an ads on Opportunity on Backpage of. Y'all know what the fuck that is? On Backpage. Uh, backpage. No Fucking shit. Back- we've, we've talked about Backpage a Before few times on a, here. While, while it was still a thing. Yeah, Backpage was amazing. Too bad it's gone. <laughs> so you found an ad on Backpage and... Uh, that was like, hey, like if you want to shoot porn, like yeah, it was like, uh, it, it wasn't. I wouldn't say deceiving, but it, it the the initial ad didn't say what everything that it was at first. So it was for Corbin Fisher, which is a gay site, but they the ad was looking for young adult males for adult films, and so I was just like, as a guy like who had never done anything else with a guy before, I was like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, Da-da-da-da-da, applied, and then they're like, okay, but look, so it's actually a gay, uh, it's a gay website. But we will offer you a straight scene and a solo scene. And, um, but, you know, if that's all you want to do, that's cool. But if you only do that, we probably won't have you back. I was like, that's cool. I'm about to go in the Navy in three months. So that's all I needed to do. So I was there. And then, of course, that's how they get all the guys is get the straight guy, show up, flash a lot of money in his face, yep. get in the straight scene. And then. Uh, so wait, they, they kind of like set the hook with like the solo scene first and then the straight scene and then it's like hey time to go to work or <laughs> yeah i mean it, it, it wasn't like honestly because everybody would assume it, it's creepy like just as creepy as that sounds but it's right. it, i mean i'm sure some situations are like that but this wasn't it was just basically like okay cool you did all that uh what what, what do you think about doing a gay scene and i was okay. just like yeah nonchalant yeah i was just like yeah they're like what do you think about this? What do you think well, about it, that? It, see, the, the funny thing was, they the what the convincing factor wasn't them flashing the money at first. And it was because like they keep you it in was a the hot girls, wasn't it? Well, no, no, well, no. The I had done the straight scene already. Oh, okay, oh, that, that was, was already out. The, that's out. That's, that's, that's out of the picture. Yeah, yeah. Like, you did good. What do you think about this? We gave you a reward first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like so, mind you, I've never done anything with a guy before, but I was I was never like, oh yeah. I'm fucking straight. Like, look at me. Like, you know, I have to like prove a point. So I was just, but I was very just like, I, like, I don't think it's my thing. I've just never tried anything. So I probably don't, wouldn't want to do it. But, um, so they keep you in a house for like the, the whole time you're there. So five days to a week, depending on how many scenes you're shooting, whatever. Uh, they, so you're around all these guys this whole time. And these guys, most of them had been shooting there for a while previously. Are these mainly like straight guys that yes, have been turned out? Pretty much, yeah. Turned out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... Been turned out. Yeah. Yeah. Turned well. out for sure. <laughs> uh, so they uh, they will they'll tell you like, uh, so like you're just talking with the guys, you're hanging out and the, for the whole time you're stuck in this house. And so they just started saying, be like, the, I remember, I always remember this one conversation I had with the dude. He was like, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm straight, but you know what gets my dick hard? And I was like, <laughs> what? He's like, earning 10 grand in a week. And I was like, oh, <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> Absolutely. That get my dick hard. Yeah. Too. So, and so then, uh, the, I, I, I forgot what I you thought, said. I thought you were going to say some like fucking. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. No, I didn't say some like really gay shit and like how Look at my dick hard armpits. Yeah. <laughs> Snow and armpits. fucking stinky yeah, you know, armpits. What I've always liked armpits. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh the uh so but uh you know, on the last day the producer was just kinda like, Hey, so what do you what do you think? And then we talked about money and shit and I was just like, Yeah, I'll give it a shot and then I it was just I was very nervous because I'd never done anything with a guy and I was just so I jumped into the scene and then I was like, Oh, you know, this is not so bad and then so then from there on you know i had there was breaks of time and shit like that I left that studio and whatever and then right slowly grew into other things that's rad so like growing up though being that like at 18 and you know you got kind of like i wouldn't say duped into it but you know you're <laughs> you're an easygoing guy and you're, you're open-minded but like growing up did you ever did it ever cross your mind like i wonder what no. it'd be like never once you were never like once um and then even like on the trans thing issue like not it was always just like girls 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 and then when you're 18 this happened and yeah i wasn't really i think i had heard about trans people but like uh, I had never like really been exposed right. to like trans people until like being in the industry. Right. And so it was just kind of like, it was like a new thing. And then, so then I tried that. I was like, Oh, like that too. And then, so it was just kind of like, it was a the porn has been like a, a, a sexual growing experience for me. Cause it's just like, I wasn't definitely wasn't sheltered as a kid, but it was just, I was exposed to a lot like through doing this and it was great. So during your first, like filming with the guys, like you got to get turned on. <laughs> 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 Sorry. There goes your hands. Sorry. There goes your kitchen hands again. No, I was just like, it's a film about guys. I got all jittery. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> so when you're filming with the guys for the first time, were you kind of just like, okay, I'm, so you, you were, were you into guys or no? Yes or no? No. And so were you kind of like, how am I going to get hard for this? Yeah. Was that like a kind of thing? Oh God. How, Cause in order to perform, I have to be erect. And like, he doesn't seem, you're not an overthinker. Are you, you don't overthink things. I do. I do. Oh, really? But it's like, but it's like, uh, I don't know. I was just trying to, it's, it's kind of difficult to try to put yourself in like that, the mindset that you're in back then. But it's like, I don't, I think I was just kind of like, fuck it. Whatever happens, happens. Like I yeah. wasn't like too like, Oh my God, what happens yeah. if I don't get hard? And yeah. so it was just yeah. like, if it happens, it happens. Um, so, but like, you know, I mean, I don't know, like, if we're supposed to talk about this, but, like, oh, you, you know, talk about whatever they give you, you Viagra want. and shit. They, they give you, like, drugs, like, to help you get hard yeah. and shit. Oh, they, so don't, they don't give you drugs. They place it there. Yeah, and they're like, no, they, give, they, they give you drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, no, they don't give you drugs. They just leave it there. And Wait, if you take so it, you take you, it. This is why you're demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. They give you fucking drugs. They go boop in your mouth. And they go, get hard. Okay, I, I should look clarify. They don't force you. They, force. They, they're, they're like, hey, we can give you Viagra, and this will that. help you get your dick hard. So here you go. I'm like, okay. Was uh, <laughs> you you were never a try mix guy, but was that around back in the day? You said you said it was around for a long time. Yeah, it's been a, like I mean like just because it was always like back. It was always kind of a hidden thing and not talked about. Now now fucking. Everyone's husbands and wives are like where's the trimix at like yeah. <laughs> that's what uh, i say to you all the yeah. time i think it was like there was something similar to i don't know through what stretches of time these different things existed i think trimix has been around for like a long time yeah. but there's also there was something because try mix uh, try try mix because it's three different drugs right. it's a compound but I recall hearing that it used to be two. So it the was bimix, like, yeah. yeah, something like yeah. that. Bimix so, fucking sucks. Yeah, to be honest. I don't like bimix. I like gay mix. <laughs> <laughs> I like. We prefer pan mix over here, <laughs> <laughs> or fluid mix. If you guys got that, shoot it over. <laughs> so tell them what trimix is because this might be this might be. I know. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Honest. I know. Someone. Someone. Who was saying that? Don't tell. I'm like, who's the fuck? I know. Dude? They're I'm saying like they're like, don't talk about trimix. Don't talk about. Don't talk about. Don't talk about it. And it's yeah. like. It's been done. Fuck you. About. We're going to talk yeah. about everything. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, Trimix, as you know, Dante said, it's a, it's a drug. It's a compound of three different uh, drugs that they make in a pharmacy and um, shipped out to your, your doctor or your home. And uh, it's injected into your penis. So um, not in the vein. It's in the side and the muscle. And um, yeah, it's kind of like taking Viagra um, instantaneously and... Um, for someone like me, who's an extreme... What's more effective for you? For me? Okay, so what's more effective, Viagra or Trimix? What do you think? Well, I've never done Trimix before, but it's like... <laughs> oh, well, no, grab your kit. He's going to try it right this now. Man, no, this man does not need... <laughs> well, no, because like, if I try... Cause I, I, I think I'm, your dick would explode, dude. <laughs> I don't know. It's not about that. It's more like once I find how easy something is, it's like I'm only ever going to do that. So I'm like, I don't want to know how easy it yeah, is. Yeah, it's too easy. 
but it's like uh, Viagra um, is a vasodilator, so it uh, induces blood flow. So if you're not horny, it's not going to work. Here we go. This is but, he's going to break down the science. But Trimix is a coagulator, blood coagulator. So it's uh, the it's not, it's not a muscle in your dick. It's just like um a uh, like a, a set of flesh that is like a reservoir, and it helps holds it in. So, but what a uh, Trimix is is a blood coagulator. So once blood gets in there, it gets stuck. Like a vacuum, almost kind of like so. It just like it clumps up the blood. It makes it like a thicker fluid, so it it's easier to close does. up and hold off. Yeah. And so then, like <laughs> dolls. And you so know. it's like you don't need to be horny for Trimix to work. It just works. Bam! <laughs> That's such a great breakdown. And so when you found your first gay scene, you did Viagra, correct? Yeah, I don't think it was. So you exactly had to be a Viagra. little turned was, on then. Yeah. So you weren't yeah. to little guys then. It was like it was. It was one of those things where I could get my. I um. Like I was able to give myself that. that that's always been my strong suit. You're I'm like, all, you're like, it's a girl with a pixie cut. It's a girl with a pixie cut. It's a girl with a pixie cut. And think, very, very. It's a swimmer. She's a swimmer. I've never been able to like to look at my scene partner and pretend it's someone else. But it's just like I'm able to get myself in my head and just like be like corny. That's always been my strong suit. Is like I could just always get myself there no matter what. And so I think that was, was where I found out like I was able to do that. And so then like you know you're watching porn on the side and shit. But it was also like a lot of guys who are straight or who are actually straight will be like do the same. They'll be like, oh, God, this is gross. But like for me, oh, I was so like, that's it's so, so rude. me. It's so it's me. So I've rude. seen that shit. I'm like, oh my god. Actually like, happens. yes, that actually happens. Yeah, yo, yeah. Right? yeah. So I'm professional. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually happens. <laughs> You're talking yeah. to people He's like, duh, it's porn. What'd you expect, bitch? This isn't corporate. <laughs> you've, you've like you coming on set. Like you've had amazing experiences. I know. Like the people, well, the people that we get to work with are usually very professional. But there's many, many, many times where you're just like. Well, then why do they do it? They don't like it. Because the, the money. money. Yeah. But then if you're gonna do it for the money, why be so like rude about it? Because they have to prove a point. Oh. Like, <laughs> Barrel chest. It's giving know? alpha wolf, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's why all the comments don't like you. I know. They're like, this guy's trying way too hard. They're like, he's in denial, girl. Your boyfriend's a faggot. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Total fat guy right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got in trouble, actually, the other day for, on the last podcast because I'm like, well, I'm not gay, you know? And they're like, but I said faggot. And they're like, well, if he's not gay, he can't say faggot. But then everybody else in the comments is like, he's gay. And I'm like, so then, like, what do you want? Can I say faggot or not, guys? Let me know in the comments. You can say faggot. <laughs> Yeah. Say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I think it's about like your audience, because like, because like, yeah. there's yeah. like, like, I feel like any like, cancel the fuck out of me, I dare you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm begging to be. Yeah, canceled. I just, I just want it at this point. But it's like, <laughs> like I think any, there's any sense of any, any, uh, any topic can be humorous. I don't care how fucking dark. Yeah. I don't care how dark nasty it is. Yes. But it's about your intention and the audience. So yeah. it's like, let's say like. For example, let, let, let's say let's say you were like 100% gay or whatever, but like we don't know each other very well or whatever. Right. I'm not gonna like joke around and say faggot. Right. right because we're not cool. Yeah. Because like I, I just yeah. don't, I don't know if you're cool with it. But let's say like you are and we get used to each other. Oh. Then I feel like it's always on the table. Yeah. It's absolutely. But you don't you don't go around like saying it to other people. And no. Just, so it's like I can just I go you walk up to someone in public. Like, hey, what's up, faggot? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah, it's intention and knowing your audience. So it's like yeah, I think everything's on the table. Rad. So okay. So jumping in, you, you did that for a few years, and then you're like, you know what? Like, didn't get as many scenes as I wanted, and it's kind of not what I was hoping it to be. And so you branched out, did your own thing. Is that when you started doing more straight scenes? Yeah, it was a it was a long process. It, it took it took a while to get there, but um, yeah, because I mean, we were talking about this before we started, just like the, that process. But it's like yeah. it's. I mean, if you've seen any of my interviews, you've heard the story a hundred times. But it's, so it's like. But it's uh, it was about four years. Only got thirty scenes done with Corbin Fisher. They're weird. Um, but um, as soon as I started branching out, I was doing. Um, I, it took a while to get into that because everyone always told me like you can't do gay and straight. You just you just can't. That's what we've heard. Yeah. yeah. But then you so there's like, it's really hard to go from gay and crossover to straight. But like whenever we talk about like whenever I hear anyone talk about like oh yeah like no one really does that except for one person. It's him. You were able to navigate from gay to straight. Well, just like do it. It's it's more people. There's been a bunch of people who have done went to one then to the other. Mm -hmm. But it's but really you can't do it. You can't do really it. hard. You can't do both. Yeah, you yeah. Can't but do you're both. the only person that anyone that I've ever spoken to known that you're the one who can do that. Like, well, there's people that do it Dante now. Dante goes from but straight gay to straight, which is really hard because once you kind of go gay, kind of burn your name in the straight. Like side, I feel. Well, there's there's uh. I know it used to be that way. I feel like you kind of trailblazed that to make it more of a, a, a navigable nav navigatable place for you know newer people that are in the industry yeah i think it was just like i, I, I was like because I, I just wanted to do it like and you know, people were just like you can't do it and i was just like but why it doesn't make sense and so it's like 
Um, but I think it was just like a, a lot of being at the right place, the right time. And I took advantage of that. And then also it's just like, I think what a lot of people don't realize is like, this is a job. Like you have to treat this like business. Like you have to be professional. And so I think that like being like I, my, my whole thing with meeting like directors and stuff was never give a director a reason not to hire you. Okay. So it's like when you're, so for example, Ricky Greenwood, amazing fucking director. So Love he Ricky. was hiring me for, um, trans scenes and stuff. And then he started doing like he, he had been doing uh, filming straight scenes. He, he's primarily doing that. And then he's like, um, and then I was like, yeah, can um, but I've been working with him for a while, and so I was just like, "Hey, you know, I'm totally down to do a straight scene." He's like, "Yeah," I was like, "You know, it's gonna be really hard, but I'll, I'll you know, and I'll, it's, I'll, it's like French Canadian, you yeah. know, you know, it's going to be very hard one day, <laughs> but, but yeah, we'll try." Um, and so he was finally able to make it. Like, so there, there was other situations that I had. I think we had done. I I definitely done prior, but it was just like, oh, well, we'll see what we can do to make it work. And so it's just like, if you don't give a director a reason to say no then if they give they give you one opportunity that's all you need and then all of a sudden you made a good name and then you can continue on and so i just continued doing that and it was at the right place the right time in society where everybody was just like you know it'd be accepting of everything and i was like okay like let's use that um and so then i think it was just one of those things that people just needed an example just to be like okay we can do this like and then once you see an example then all of a sudden now it's okay to do it so i was just like i'm just going to do it and then you know, maybe everybody else can then do it. Like can make follow it suit. That's right so what I'm saying. Trailblazer, you know. But yeah, there was like previously. There's there's a there's a bunch of straight male performers that are that have done gay porn. Like I'm, I'm not gonna like rat you guys out, not, but not, <laughs> not gonna throw <laughs> any like, names out like who. But, just, but everybody right now, we're gonna say it. However, I, I will insert them. So here they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fucking right here. We're gonna say it. We're not gonna say it. I won't insert it right here. I mean, screen. everybody right knows who they are. Yeah, literally sure. link it in the comments right now. <laughs> they know who they are. But dude, like, there's like some like people like do, like go to the ends of the earth to like try to hide that shit. Like, there's one male performer who will say that it was his twin brother who was the one who did <sighs> of course the game. it was guy doesn't have a he does twin, no brother, twin brother <laughs> obviously he's an only child yeah oh, my twin does gay porn i do straight <laughs> yeah. that makes sense the, the identical it's like you know when the identical twins don't want to like be all the way identical one would do gay porn and the one would do straight like i don't want to be exactly like you but we wear the same clothes every day <laughs> <laughs> still <laughs> at 35 <laughs> Depending on what porn category you do, it immediately changes your entire appearance. Yeah, you know? no, it does. I mean, it, you know, I was I was mentioning like because I'm so new in this and like coming into it, it fucked me up. Wait, a how little long have you been doing this? I thought you've been doing it for a while. I'm going on this. I've it's only my sophomore year. I'm oh going, shit. Man. Yeah. Well, I guess no. So twenty one. So I'll have my, I'll be starting my third year. Um, next month. Okay, so you've been doing it for yeah. a while. I've shot I've shot a de decent amount. Like I've shot like. A good amount of scenes, over a hundred scenes. I know that, um, and then content and all that. But um, yeah, for me, it kind of I, I wasn't expecting the because um, I was at a point where I was just like I was kind of different than you. I was like always concerned about what everybody thought about me, like always in my head, like oh, well, what if they think this? What if they think that? And so at thirty four is when I was like, you know what, fuck it, and. I shared that with my friend group at the time, all you know, all straight guys, and like, I'm like, how come they don't want to hang out with me anymore? What's going on? I'm like, <laughs> like, they're like, bro, are you really doing gay porn? I'm like, yeah, but it's just work. Like, I'm not like, I'm not like trying to suck your dick at the bar. Like, yeah. we've been like, I've known you for 30 years. Like, what? There's nothing different. I've been the same way the whole time. I just never told you about it. You know what I mean? Because for me, I like growing up, like a little bit different than you. I like that was in the back of my head. I'm like, I wonder what that's like. You know? So I was always curious. Um, but growing up in like middle class white neighborhood where everybody's Christian and no one knows anything about gay people, no one knows anything about trans wasn't even a fucking idea that was like Wait, why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> why are you looking at me when you say trans? Let's look over somewhere else. But you know, I mean there was and my parents never talked about sex with me, you know what I mean? So everything was always my I had to go figure it out from on my own and then, you know, coming into the, what what year is this? Twenty twenty three? Now it's like um, I actually just was just reading this about you. Like you identify as fluid, right? In a sense, or like yeah, you like have an identity. Like you're like I don't, you don't really like. I just think to like identity is like complicated. Like I, it's, it's stupid, I, right? It, it's not like when someone's like, oh, you're like like oh, he's this. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. Call me what you want, but like I, right. just, like I just say like I don't like identify with anything. I just say like I prefer women. And there you that, go. That just makes, it makes, I love it just that. Makes it it's easier. so fucking easy. Because when you're like, oh yeah. 
this person's bi is like, oh, so you directly like guys as much as you like girls, and you would date both, and it's just like, yeah, like everyone's well, got their own definition of it, you know. So. You're pulling out the calculator and doing probability factors, and like, <laughs> dude, like, so if like the situation at the bar was like this, like, would you flow towards like, no, dude, like, you and I are the exact same. Like, I will always gravitate towards a woman. I'm a that's what I'm into, but at the same time. I do have a uh, fetishization towards dick, and I like to bottom. And so whatever that would be considered, that's what it is. But, um, yeah. You're considered a faggot. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, no. So I think, do you think people got upset because you were kind of like, I'm straight. I'm great for her. And so they are like, no, bitch, you're not. Yeah, I think people are just, it's because, look. Uh, because the difference between you two is kind of like you guys are similar in the fact you guys both prefer women but he's over here like I'm, I'm whatever but you over here like I'm straight so it's kind of yeah, like I they're think, like yeah. uh, you clearly sure. are not straight so maybe that's where like people are getting upset is because you claim to be straight and they're kind of like in their eyes that's not straight sure, and I'm, I, I don't place any blame or, or I'm not upset at anybody for not understanding but here's i guess here's the biggest difference would be that i'm born in 1985 <laughs> and so uh you and i are like what you're 20 you're 30 28 28 okay so we have almost 10 years difference you and i have almost 14 years difference and, <laughs> and so the stepdad but like you know it's so it's like for me understanding sexual identity and all these things and like terminology like it's so fucking new for me. At the end of the day, I really don't give a shit. I really don't. Like, here's what I'm into. Here's what I like. And, like, at the end of the day, it's like, what do the kids need to eat for dinner? Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, I'm not – I don't lose sleep over how you identify or how my scene partner identifies or how, you know, Danny identifies. Or, you know what I mean? It's like everybody is oh. – oh. oh, wow, Danny's here. What oh the fuck? God, did you just show how long up? have you been here, what Danny? The what the fuck? <laughs> Guys – Danny baby's here. Danny's oh here. She might she might come say hi. I don't know. But I just realized she's been watching in the crowd the entire time. That's crazy. I thought you were dead, girl. I told everyone you died. We had a funeral and everything with Athena. With an empty casket. We couldn't find the body. Okay, so getting into, you know, you being a trailblazer and, and getting to, you know, experience all these different aspects of the adult film industry. Um you crushed it dude like you like you came out get that get that fresh watermelon it's so good know, it's, it's so yeah good. yeah listen to that asmr <laughs> oh, that was, that was really good crunch. it was slurpy that too was, that was that like that was this, like really good that was like one of those really wet slurpy <laughs> we'll get more watermelons in a second danny <laughs> can it keep you dumb got me some more watermelons in there yes please that way everybody can see you <laughs> she's delivering <laughs> delivering my shirts so you crushed it, like coming into this into the game outside of working with that first uh, studio. Can we name them? Or yeah, you're working with Corbin Fisher. You know, you got out of that, and you're like, damn, there's a whole. It's all fucking. It's like Aladdin. Like the whole new world. You know, <laughs> where you like you had the carpet. You're like, where the fuck is Jasmine at? Because I need to get some. Here, Danny, just come say hi. Danny, come here. Say hi to the world. Oh yes. She's getting a all new player has entered the arena. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you guys. Nice to see you again. Can I go now? <laughs> yes. I didn't Thank plan to be on this you episode. Made, you just made so many people so happy. I know. They're like, where's Danny? There's Danny. Danny's always behind the scenes. Always. She's always running everything in the back. She's, she's like Jesus. Editor. She's on yeah. lights. She's, she's, she's actually. Danny's running lights. She's running the mic. She's running the cameras. Danny is behind the scenes. When you ask where Danny is, she's right there. <laughs> she's right there. It's kind of like the Wizard of Oz, you know? Wait, she's the Wicked Witch, like, just, like, behind the curtain? <laughs> yeah, that's the old Wizard was. Like, oh, no one was. speaks to the oh, Wizard. Oh, that's what yeah. the Wizard was, huh? So, no one speaks to Danny. No way, no how. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, question. First year out of out of um, Corbin Fisher and doing your own thing, did you get an AVN? Or gave you Or did you get any awards? First year? Yeah, your first year out of your, your contracted studio, like, and you were doing your independent thing. Do you recall getting any awards that first year out? No, I think it was my second year. Your out. second year out is that it like so? It took like a year. whole year for the all the scenes that you shot independently to really get released, and then on that second year is when the traction started coming through. Well, you know, it, no, it it may have been my first year. It might have been because yeah, because it was 
Yeah, because it was with a scene with uh, uh, guys in sweatpants with Austin Wolf, and it was a scene award. Oh, and awesome. so, so he and so like that scene that we shot, it was I think yeah, it was that was like my first scene that I shot when I got out. So it must have been the first year that I was out that I got that we got that award. So that must have been it. But then it was like after that, it was like that was you know maybe a year plus until I got like. The other words. It was like the out. one scene that Austin ever bottomed in, and Dante's topping big ass Austin wall. <laughs> Dude, but then he said that he's like, he's like, I don't bottom, but like, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll you. do a flip scene. Well, you guys thing. flipped in that. Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. I was just joking because he's so fucking huge. <laughs> yeah. He's a big I know. dude. We wouldn't even want to top that. I would be so like. I'd try. I I would just feel like. Like like a loser. It's like a chihuahua. It's like a chihuahua. Yeah, it's kind of like, like a fucking mastiff. You know what I mean? I'm kind of just like he's so big. I'm like, you know, I'm not even. Gonna, I'm just gonna accept defeat and just let him take over. Because bending over six foot three, that's why I don't do it. By the way, <laughs> I don't top yeah, Blake. Well, Austin's six. Foot six. He's six, six. No. Six. Oh no, I'm sorry. Did I say Austin? Oh my god, fuck. Uh, oh, I am he fucked so it up. He oh. fucked it all up. You just added a rumor out there. I am <laughs> now they're so all going to be looking sorry. for Dante okay. and Austin <laughs> Wolf. Austin Wolf and Dante. No, no, this is I'm t- I totally <laughs> fucked this up. I for anybody that knows me, Rose, I'm absolutely fucking god awful with names, and it's nothing personal. I Don't. swear. He's at home. Austin's watching. He's like, wait a minute. I didn't film with Dante. <laughs> I never filmed with him. What? Um, <laughs> Austin Wild, I apologize. Austin Wild, but Austin Wild, wait. I miss you, man. If you're watching this, please do not take this personally. Right. Isn't Austin like, Wild a big guy too, or is that yeah, Christian he's, Wild? He's big. Austin okay. Wild's big. Like okay. he's, he's a little bit shorter than me, but his his, his dick is big. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Great. So as long anyways. as the dick's big, then we're winning. I have actually been having neurological issues the past couple of years, so don't take it personally. <laughs> Early onset of dementia. I've, I claim to have that every now and then. I'm like, you have everything. Do I have everything. I, have, I everything. have Tourette's apparently. I have ADHD. Um, um, oh, you also have. <laughs> don't <laughs> you also have like tweakers? <laughs> tweakers. Um, tweaker tendencies. Tweaker tendencies. Because yes. you know you just can't stay still. Well, like, yeah, it's me being expressive with my hands and talking. They're like, this guy's on drugs. I'm like. <laughs> I guess, like, because I've watched other YouTubers or, or, like, podcasters, and, like, if they stay, like, if you stay right here, you know, and nice and calm and collective, but, like, I'm like, where the fuck are you going to go tomorrow? You know, like, <laughs> okay. And then they're like, he has bad vibes. He's moving too much. He's on drugs, girl. He's tweaking out. Yeah. I mean, what do you want to say? I think I'm pretty interesting. You can't person. win. I can't win. One minute you're gay. Minute. Next minute you're on drugs. You're tweaking out. You just, you just can't win with my audience, and I'm so sorry it's for okay. that. You know where I am winning, guys, is with my audience, so it's great. <laughs> Tune into the Alpha Wolf channel on YouTube next week for more. <laughs> <laughs> You're bottoming on YouTube Live. <laughs> Dude, have you seen this shit on Instagram? Have you seen these things popping up on Instagram with girls posting videos? Like, oh, with like, their tits hanging on? Just shit? Like, f- like one string over their pussy. I'm like, how is this like not getting deleted? And then I get deleted for wearing a picture in actual sweatpants. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get my entire account deleted for, for impersonating yourself. For impersonating myself. Oh, so. dude. Speaking of that shit, you like to take it away too. I remember this. No, every single day for the past week plus, whatever motherfucker out there is reporting me doing this, I'm proud of you hey, for the, the for the. You're working hard. Who yeah, the you're fuck working you hard. Are? You're hitting everybody, <laughs> dude. You deserve. He hit a- me. No, my friend got her account taken away, given back to her, taken away. Yeah, no, given every, back to every her every day. It's Eight like, I, I, times in one day. So she got taken. Your account's been deactivated. An email. We deactivated by mistake. You may log in. She logs yeah. in. Oh, you've been. Taken away, and then I got my account taken away that same day it happened to her. Both your accounts, both my accounts, and I'm like, What the fuck? So I feel like the whole so I went on Twitter and I was like, Instagram down to see if anyone's relating to it. And everyone's like, They're like, My account just got deleted, and I haven't posted in two years. What the yeah. fuck? Drew Valentino, uh, he got uh, what, what was performer or no, um, best, best versus newcomer. B- best newcomer at the gay VNs. Um, he's a comedian too, fucking hilarious guy, only post comedy. Only him doing stand up. And we're having you on the 26th. Uh, deleted. <laughs> same thing. Same thing as yours. It's like Holy shit. getting reinstated. So there's a thing going on. So whoever the fuck you are. I think it's a glitch in Instagram, to be honest. Uh, like, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think there's someone out there reporting each other. I think there's a glitch in well, Instagram. I think it's, that's I think it's different down. people that. Because I think it's one. There's, there's like trend following shit, like where people are like, oh, this is effective. And then they hear, like, oh, I can get this porn star that I hate. I can get them removed. And I can, I can the extort fuck out the fuck out of them. And then people, like, haters keep hearing from other haters and shit. And so then they. That happened to me. Yeah. Well, whoever this glitch mob is, fucking. You're, you're doing good. You're doing but good. It's, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah, Please stop. stop Please we're, stop. Mm-hmm. That's our work. That's our dude. money, yeah. like, dude. Like, and I was so mad because I was just about to ran my, <coughs> we ran my podcast, and then boom, I'm like, wow, 
You just had nothing to, to promote like, it last on. Year you had to do the hippie, like you got. Did you get deleted last year? You changed the hippie GQ. Yeah, it was like yeah, it was coming up on two years. Now. Okay, yeah, but, uh, but like there are people you can pay to get your Instagram back. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah but so I, like, that that one was kind of like damaged. Uh, just oh, from, you're like. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I literally just got to where I was like like a couple days ago, oh. so I, I've just now caught back up. But it's like it's nice to start from scratch because like I was using the Instagram was initially for something else, and it was just like. It, it was just a weird clusterfuck, and it wasn't as effective as it could have been. So it's like I might as well start from scratch. The algorithm was was tainted. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. <laughs> He's like, get this all this gay shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I need my band myself a straight. No, no, I was using it for like a, like a DJ page that I was doing with my friend, and so the, the way we were getting followers was kind of weird, and it wasn't like we we're ba- paying for them, but it was like you'd follow and follow people. Oh and my so, god, one of those! I fucking hate those. Yes. Like, you Wait, follow. was that like, is that like a social so media? It's kind of like, yeah. it's, it's follow to unfollow, but like you do it like privately, kind of like, um, hey, I'll follow you, you oh, follow no, no, me no, no, back. No. And later when you follow me, I unfollow you like a few days later so you don't know about it. It was, uh, we didn't, we didn't message anybody. We would just follow all these people, like all these people affiliated with other DJs. Oh, and it, then they follow you back and then you go unfollow those people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, the shady, uh, I don't know, it's so weird. I stopped answering fan stuff because people get so weird, but this guy hit me up on Twitter, and he's like, hey, man, I really appreciate your work. It's so awesome. Your work's so fire, this and that. Described himself. He's like, I'm really, you know, I'm really focused. I really want to, like, do something. And he, had, he looked pretty attractive, didn't have any triple X content on his Twitter page. He's like, how do I get into the industry? Or how do I get into shooting uh, content? All these collabor- uh, content creators want to charge me a thousand dollars to shoot with them. I'm like, okay, well, you don't have anything. You have nothing to show that you are even a content creator. Like nobody wants to do that. Like it's just kind of weird and you don't have an OnlyFans account. So I said, do that. Start posting, just post a dick pic a day, or you can rebrand and make a whole new Twitter, however you want to do. But he already had 10,000 followers. So I was like, Hey, if you want to start doing that and jump on it, and I like I kind of took some time to respond, and the fucking guy said, "Okay, we'll do," and then he blocked me immediately. I'm like, "What the fuck?" Like, it's so <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Social media is a trip because I'm like, I get so I, I I'm like, oh wow, I'm like trying to like be well, all. I think like, the answer was he wanted to fuck you, and you just said, oh, like yeah. just say that. Hey, I'll, oh, okay, we'll do, buddy. Like, like the answer is <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> well, being this is demonetized, and we like to share juicy stories. And it's the juicy story hour, Dante. I know you have some juicy set stories. Something you got. What's one story that comes? In, first thing that comes to mind where something. It doesn't have to be like messy, or it could be messy physically, the messier, or the, better. the messier the better. Yeah, it could be. It could be uh, spill the tea. Like what's what comes to mind, Dante? I mean, obviously, you didn't do anything. Never, I would never. But if there's anything that you did do, please, <laughs> yeah. please share. I'd love I mean, to hear it. I would tell you, but I've never done anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like this will be edited out. Danny, keep it rolling. Can you, like, can you like edit in the little pop, pop, pop bubbles? And it's like Dante thinking about his life. And it's like. And it's all the bad shit he did just listed out. No, it's, 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 it's like like nothing Vietnam comes flashbacks. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's got us down. <laughs> On the Ho Chi Minh Trail, holy shit, <laughs> that's funny. I love that. That's so Family Guy. That's like, so I'm like yeah, I'm Viet Bitch. <laughs> oh. oh god, oh my god. <laughs> of course we had to go. Of all the wars, of all the wars, they just Wait. had to go to Viet. Come on, you guys won. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Nobody won that war. <laughs> it was all for fun. <laughs> <laughs> just for funsies. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We're cool, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I mean, like, you, you get, like, these, like, drug stories and shit. Like, people are just, like, fucked up on set and stuff. Mm-hmm. And just, like, a mess. But it's, like, it's... <laughs> ketamine queen. Yeah, yeah, always, I mean, yeah it's always coke. Pl- plenty of yeah. oh, coke or ketamine yeah, stories. Or yeah. heroin, for that matter. Oh, but wow. Heroin oh, on yeah. set? Oh, my God. Wow. I've only, I've only ever known that oh, like, I've seen um, that one. Which studio? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I can never imagine, like, like hold, hold. We can't cancel him. We'll cancel the studio. They're, like, they're like Alpha, uh, are you all ready in there? I'm like, I'm like yeah, just clean it out. I'm like, and they're, like, banging out a shit. <laughs> shot and like falling asleep like oh my god I, that's crazy but it's happened i'm sure i've seen i've seen some things too i mean there's pretty like uh functional heroin addicts i've learned over time because it's just like people can like be functional on drugs i guess it's, it's as crazy, long as they have it yeah there's no functioning when it's not there i don't like i don't know like i maybe maybe some of my friends do i don't know but like i just like <laughs> as far as like people have acquaintances i've 
made or whatever like yeah. you can they people are like oh yeah like i do heroin i'm just like oh shit but it's um just i don't know like, I don't, yeah i don't i don't know the, the full story but anyways like a crazy the first the only thing that comes to my mind i know there's like crazier shit but like there was this time a couple years ago i won't say who or what studio but um there <laughs> there were so there, there were two scenes in a day i was the second scene they were still shooting the first scene i show up doing paperwork yada yada um and they were kind of coming to the end of the second scene. They were filming outside, and it, they were filming a straight scene. And the, there, I think it was, yeah, yeah, I think it was the mic stand. And they didn't sandbag it, meaning like mm-hmm. they they didn't put the sandbag like on the legs, so like to keep it stable from falling over. And so because they're very heavy lights. Yeah, well, it was, was the mic stand. Yeah, I think it was. I, oh, it was just the I'm boom. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think it was the boom. But yeah, yeah, because it was a C. St- anyways. So there was um, a gust of wind, and it blew over said C stand, mm-hmm. and uh, cracked the girl in the fucking head. Oh my god! And like, then while she was like mid, like I didn't see what oh. position she was in, but she was facing. <laughs> well, she was facing towards like this. Like, stand. That's a really important part. <laughs> what position she's in to get cracked in the head like that? Whatever it was, it was facing towards the stand because it hit her in the face here. Oh, and split her. cracked her, and then it was. Oh <laughs> my. god. Gosh, gushing like just crazy, Poor and all girl. of a sudden, like, because like, I'm right by the door, and all of a sudden, I heard turn around screaming, and then I was like, "What the fuck?" And and then so everyone's just like, whoa, 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 "What do we do? What do we do?" I'm like, "Put pressure on the fucking wound!" Like, and so like like everyone's just like, "What look good?" Like figuring out. So I grab a shirt and I fucking go to like shove it on her face, and um. You know, so I'm just like squeezing her head, and I'm just like sitting here like this for a while, and then I was just like, "Can someone like take her to the fucking doctor or something?" Yeah, and they're like, "Do we gonna need to call nine one?" I'm like, "You don't need to call nine no, one. Just, take to the just, just so. keep the pressure on here. Just like fucking tape it to her head or something." <laughs> yep, she's exactly. great. She's she'll be fine. And so then they ended up taking her to urgent care, but then got um, stitched up. Yeah. yeah, it's just you know, yeah, getting forehead shots, eyebrow shots that split so easily. Yeah, and I like, mean, she looks she looks great now. Like you you would never know, but she she was that was. Like minus day. the stitch across her entire eye, but <laughs> like, wait, wait. I'm like it's giving Chucky without makeup. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god, she's fine. She I mean, I've, I've seen her since, and like she, you I, never I, you, you, I, don't, yeah. no, I don't, I can't even see a scar. Yeah, I just so. hit the perfect spot. I've been hit by my surfboard and fists plenty of times where I'm just like, just I'm like I didn't even feel that, and you're just bleeding because it just it's really soft tissue right there. So that's a good little story. Yeah, I think I want something juicier. That what was like dangerous. Like, I want something like. Like scatty. <laughs> oh, you know? scatty! Obviously, I mean, like oh, we're doing anal here. Poop, hap- poop happens. Poop just it just. Tell happens. me some scatty stories. That's I could tell you I like a hundred scatty stories. Like, oh, let's start with fifty-five. <laughs> let's start with that one. Well, just because like poop happens when your fucking butts poop happens, and it's pretty common. It's not like that. Crazy so story. I mean, I've been on set. I've there's been there's been what actually just happened recently where I had to like go into my urethra oh my and God, like I, I love that story. clean it out like there was like oh it was like in it wasn't like wet it was like there was like actually it wasn't fully cleaned out so like stuff got caked into my dick and i'm like i went to go pee and like let's it just say he dug for gold yeah i i i was like damn because i wouldn't i didn't even oh, expect it like no. We were shooting the scene, and then he like got up, and I'm, I'm like, expressions from the background. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, are we good? He's, He's like, like up back there. <laughs> you know, you know, it's you know, it's not good when you ask your scene partner, "Is it all good?" And they like get up like that, and they look back because I'm like right there. Am I? We all good? He's like, yeah. <laughs> grabs a couple like, and he's like hiding my hiding my dick, you know, cleaning it. I'm like. I'm like looking around. I'm like not making the fuss about it. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to trust that he is going to do a very good job cleaning my dick. And then I got up and I went to the bathroom and I went pee and I couldn't pee. I'm like, That's I'm like, I had to pee. I'm like, there's not pee coming out. Like, have you ever, it's like, if you there's take, if you take your finger and put it on your, the head of your dick right on your reflex and try to pee, that's what it was like. I'm like, there was like, dribble coming out but it was like i'm not i'm not having those type of issues right now what's going on so i got was it there like a piece of corn stuck in there there was like a fat piece of shit stuck in there 
And the worst part is like it's it's boy shit. It's, and yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> and, and that, I totally laid it out. If, if it was like a tranny shit, then it's kind of like, okay, it's cute and feminine and dainty. It's a girly shit. But like, I'm it sorry. Was, <laughs> I, I, can't, I, I came out of the bathroom. It was a boy shit, you know? Like this shit just lifted weights on the gym and stank. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> my shit is drenched in perfume and cosmetics. It's, like, it's very like hacienda, like yeah. flowers. My yeah. shit is in a tutu. You know, like that. When it comes out, it's like, hi. <laughs> if you <laughs> if your shit came out like Mr. Yankee on South Park, <laughs> it would be a date, the, the cutest little poop ever. You'd be like, I'd actually take her on a date. <laughs> I don't know why. You smell bad, but I'll do it. Is yeah. The shit that was in your yeah, urethra? Yeah. No, because I came out, dude, I came out of the bathroom and she's like, and I, because there was a little spot where she could hang out and um, it was in a, it was in a, uh, well, we won't an say, it was, it was, it was an art, an art, like an art studio. Yeah. And um, <laughs> she's like, are you okay? Uh, the sad looking, she's like, you okay? I'm like, and she's like, what happened? I'm like, there was, there was poop in my dick. She's like, that's fine. Like you got it out. I'm like, yeah, but it was, it was guy shit. <laughs> I, I made a point. Uh, now, the, that. now the comments are going to be I like, know. oh, he is so homophobic. He's so homophobic. <laughs> no, it's like, okay. Like guys and girls eat differently. You know what I mean? And like you take a girl who has a, a diet of like, you know, one meal a day of like rice and a little bit of chicken and, you know, water. And then a guy who's like bulking, you know, on a fucking 300 carb and di you died. You know, it's just getting it. Um, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. But yeah, that was um, that was one issue. One little that's the only time that I've had the other times. It's just been like, you know, that little watery stuff. But I'm trying to think if I've ever done that to anybody no, you're pretty much really clean. You like fucking use the hose and then you shove the, you know, a whole like tower up your ass, like a, a dildo as big as like a tower in New York City up your ass. So you kind of clear everything out for whoever to go in after. Like, you're pretty much, you're, you always make sure you're good to go, you know? <laughs> Why does that have to be the biggest tower in New York? I would be the Empire State Building. <laughs> oh, that's like a pebble compared to toys that he put in his ass. Come on now. <laughs> you know, there was one, like, I, like I think the worst shit story I've ever had was, like, it was a few years ago. There was this, it was a buy scene, and there was this dude who I was fucking, and, like, I don't, he, he has done scenes, but I guess he just wasn't experienced enough or just did not care. Um, and I was fucking him missionary or whatever. And, um... I just like I knew that he wasn't clean because I just kind of saw it. So like you just you kind of just keep your dick in there at that point, and just run it through till they cut, just to kind of like you're like you know it's there. You try yeah. to block the camera a little bit, be be a little uh, courteous to your scene yeah, partner. Yeah, just, just constantly do deep thrust. So you don't have to pull your dick out any, and then yeah, you're in. That's like the, the baby packing the shit you're just, into the in, your you're just, even yeah, more. Like a little one inch thrust where you just yeah, in so it, nothing pull comes, out. Yes, yeah, like <laughs> but then that was the thing. And then when I did pull out, it looked like I was pulling an entire turd out of his ass. Oh. Because, oh my god! Because it was just like my dick was just in, in all around was just it was just shit, and so it was just like, oh, he wrapped your he gift wrapped your dick for you. That's so cute. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's the optimistic way of looking at it. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, he's like, wow, air a treat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But yeah, like, how was there a bow on this thing? <laughs> it's like already like two, it's labeled out to <laughs> Dante. I love your work. <laughs> I don't love his so much. That's <laughs> that day. <laughs> so you don't bottom anymore. How, like, did you start bottoming, or were you always kind of just like a strictly dickly top? Uh, no. I mean, I I've, I've done plenty of bottoming since. It's just like in the right situation, it's like it's, I like it, but it's like a it's a comfort thing for me, and it's also consistency because it's like the more you do it, like if you do it, if you consistently do it, like at least like once a week or something, you it's stay. Enjoyable. Yeah, you stay kind of like conditioned and i just didn't do that and so i was bottoming for years and i just like it was so much work and plus i have digestive issues and it's just kind of like this mental just like Ugh. i'm like yeah not. it's a lot easier going on set when you know like you're gonna do what you are good at and what you're like confident in and you don't have to worry about nothing else and you go fucking crush the game yeah, yeah so going into just, it bottoming like it's a very it can be a mental game for people because they're like oh my god did i <laughs> did i eat too much or this and that and you start thinking about all these things and then it just creates this whole like chaotic thing yeah. in your body and like your whole yeah you can really the mind can really affect the digestive system on a negative and then level. i think like i'm also like shallow too because it's just like constantly always hurt and then it's always, always like squeezing i was always like tense and then it's also like i i would be always bloated too so i'm just like when you're bloated and it's just like oh i don't want to get fucked in the ass right now so yeah that was so i just i just don't do it anymore but yeah good for you i mean that's i mean you know your body i mean fuck 
should I just start, start developing digestive? I can't bottom anymore, guys. They're like, sorry, buddy. We only want you for your asshole, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, so when you're not versed, do you find that you lose more work from that or no? Oh, yeah. I mean, but it's like it, – because like I, I, I'm doing more straight stuff than gay stuff now. So and it's been like that for the past couple of years. Oh yeah, kind of circling back to that. So like we're going to the, um, the straight stuff didn't come for years, and so it was just okay. like it was only until the past three years there would be like a chasing here and there, but it was only up until like really three years ago where I was just like I was actually doing straight work. But like now I pretty much mostly do it. But then, um, but to your question, the, uh, um. Uh, yeah, like you lose work because it's just like, you know, pretty much if you're doing both, you kind of like are doing half and half kind of sort of mostly. Yeah. Um, and so I was just, I lost half the work for actually not maybe not quite half, but a decent amount. But it was like a comfortable amount where I was like, OK, fine. I lose more room for other stuff. You yeah. Know? But through that, you were able to kind of build a foundation for yourself and then, you know, yeah, a new name comfort. in a sense. And then well, like, not a new name. It's the same name. It was just doing additional things. Additional stuff. OK. Rad. So. How do you feel about that? Like, is the is the fluidity aspect a real thing, or what do you? Because, as all you know, Elena has a podcast. It says it's labeled a uh, bottom bitch boy. I believe is that what it's called? Oh, um, <clears throat> actually, I made that episode with Danny, so I would love to have her. Danny, Danny come, come in here. This in. actually. <laughs> So Danny and I made an episode called Bottom Bitch where we just talk about how we don't like dating bottom boys. So Danny, after hearing all this, like what's your take on it? You know, I simply, I still don't prefer it, but I feel like I'm just open to it if I liked their personality. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like open to dating some a guy that's yeah. a In the past year or so, I feel like I've become a little bit more like, open-minded with that because i mean i th i look back at that podcast and we were kind of not being that nice towards it and <laughs> kind of like just they being literally hold it against us forever <laughs> a little bit judgmental no one is ever nice to bottoms i feel like <laughs> I mean, bottom and guys, bottom guys. I don't know why well, i mean, just like even like in gay culture i feel like oh, everybody's like mean to bottoms just like just <laughs> i just feel like we had this like misconception i guess and this like like, we already had our, like, mind made up, like, oh, we're not into that. You know what I mean? But I actually, I feel like I've met, I met this one guy within the past year. And he did, like, change my mind on that idea. Because, like, because like, he was, like, into bottoming. And, like, I've definitely well, he topped He was into him. bottoming or he only yeah. bottomed? So, like, were you topping him then or? I did for him. Oh, okay. And so because how did, I liked how did that him. change your mind, though? Because I feel like, like oh, yeah, this isn't as bad. Because was, yeah, well, because like, I he like still just as masculine afterwards. Where you're like, okay, I can fuck with this. Or was he kind of just like, like what was the vibe like afterwards? No, yeah, I mean, it, like I guess I, I thought ahead of time that it would like change the way I looked at him, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But like it didn't. Kind of like emasculate him or demasculate yeah. him. Yeah, and like it really didn't. I mean, like obviously we stopped dating. I still preferred like to get topped rather than like that. You know what I mean? Do you think but. a man bottoming makes him less of a man? No. I yeah, do not. I feel like you just say that because you feel like you that you feel <laughs> no, you need to say No, you that. guys. I, that's her. Is there, that's is that pause you're like I know she hesitated no. for a second. No. There. <laughs> no, that's like her. I feel like I'm just indifferent. It really just depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Like I think each relationship that you form with someone is just like so different, you know? So I feel like to answer your question, no, it doesn't make him any less than a man if he likes to bottom. So after meeting Alpha Wolfie, after talking and hearing him, like, do you have like a different outlook on like bottoms now? Like taking back our episode, we talk about bottom bitch boys. Like, I wouldn't strictly date a bottom. He'd have to be verse. Just okay. saying. But you yeah. prefer him to top more? Yeah, of course. I think that like, and for me personally, like in my own relationships, like for it to work, it would have to be that more. And like us wasted on a night out where I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do it for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> but that's just like. That's all they ever wanted. Mm -hmm. Just, to know that <laughs> just every okay, now and then. At some point it would be okay. But I don't think it changes the way that we should view men who like to do that stuff. I think for me, it's kind of like when I made that episode of talk, because I was in that episode catch up. I was, me and Dan were kind of just like, I I'm just like. they gave you more shit than they gave me, honestly. Well, I mean, like, I really went in on, <laughs> you know, you didn't go in as much because you're very, like, smart with what you say. I kind of just, <clears throat> here's how I feel. And so I really fucking dragged, like, guys, like, to bottom fucking through the fucking mud to hell, spun them around for a bit. 
bleach them and then i was like all right <laughs> yeah you know i kicked them a little bit whipped them here and there i really dragged them out but like now that i'm like dating the biggest power bottom ever i guess i have to say like i to clarify i Wait, have you ever topped him absolutely not and here's and here's what i'm going to say for you okay. okay if he was like begging you to do it would you do it because you like love him so much absolutely not i'll say go book a scene babe anyways but damn <laughs> I just wouldn't. Why? Because it's not just what I'm. I'm not down for that. I'm not you into you that. You don't like putting like you don't like fucking things. Dante, I've topped twice, and that, that was enough for me to know that I never ever want to do it again. There's nothing attractive about me bending a grown ass man over. I'm what fucking what five foot two. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> you guys. Oh my God. Okay, so what the if he's funniest writing? thing. If he oh, if he's writing, we're divorcing. Fuck no. Like, why the fuck am I laying down? There's a big man bouncing. Damn. On me. Like that's just fucking weird. No, absolutely okay, not. Okay, let me ask you this. Okay, yes. Do you big spoon? Sometimes I. Big okay, spoon well, sometimes. that's different. That's just, no, it's not different because okay, then all you, like, got, all you all you all you have to do is just like kind of like. There's a difference between like a, a koala <laughs> bear like climbing on a big tree and like a koala bear like fucking a big tree. Well, like. no, well, now now just imagine like the koala bear is still climbing on that tree, but your dick's just out. I just I can't. <laughs> I think you guys should go do that right <laughs> after this and we'll watch. I just I can't talk and I just I don't think I could ever like pull myself to do it. But like going back to my podcast with my bottom bitch boy episode, Dude, I'm thinking like this shit's good. They're, they're delicious, fuck. right? <laughs> and that's how little crackers. But when I was in that podcast, we mean you were talking about like, oh, I could never date a bottom. Fuck that. I could never date a bottom. Like I said, he'd have to be verse. You know what I mean? Technically I'm not dating a bottom because even though he bottoms, I don't top him. So in and that's what I that's what I want to clarify. It's kind of like I would never date a bottom bitch boy, and Alpha Wolfie clearly isn't a bottom bitch boy because in our relationship, I don't top him. So that's all I really know is like he just always tops me. Now at work, he's a bottom bitch boy. <laughs> he is a bottom bitch boy at work, but he's not with me. So I'm like, all right. You know what you do at work is none of my business. Like you do what you need to do. At, at home, he's just a strictly dickly top, and so like technically, I'm still not dating a bottom bitch boy. It's just work, It's just work. Yeah, it's just work. Oh, it's just work. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time. Danny talk. What if we? Danny said she would do it on the drive back. Oh my word. What are you guys' plans for Valentine's Day? Oh, we are gonna. Rock and roll with the spring roll action. Oh yeah, spring roll like like the food spring roll. Yeah, or? we're gonna make spring rolls. Oh what? Okay, so uh, do you ever want me to top you? <laughs> spring rolls, but uh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> here's the. Of course, it's crossed my mind. Of course, I've been like, damn. I wonder if like Elena is gonna like. At what point she's like, you know what? While well, I'm asleep or something, you know, like because I sleep really hard. Like no, if you're ever asleep, the only thing I would ever do to you is violate yes, your feet. Okay, it's crossed my mind, but I've never asked you. Do you want me to? Um, after hearing that, absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> He's like, I want to stay with you. <laughs> no, I'm good. I mean, my hole is like the fucking Mariana Trench, honey. You know what I mean? Like, I uh, believe me, I know. We've lost. Once you get in there, we've lost our car keys in the house, and I can never find it. And so we're walking, I just hear it dangling in his ass. You I'm know? convinced there's a fucking vape in there, dude. <laughs> I lo- I'm still looking for this fucking vape, and I know it would disappear like that. Do you f- when you fart, like to smoke him out, or no? It's just no. no it's, like a, it's like a ceiling fan. <laughs> oh no! When he farts, a whole village comes out. <laughs> like the, the, the whole tribe, the, like the Keebler elves. <laughs> <laughs> Come out of it. No, that's funny because I like I was now nah, I eat a bunch of cinnamon toast crunch. I was like those little, remember the chefs? Remember the old cinnamon toast crunch box? There's the three chefs. They're like the fucking. Are you talking about the rice krispies? No. Was it rice, rice krispies? krispies? Wait. Rice krispies with the three chefs oh. Rice oh my god! But they're like they're like elves, right? No, the, the rice krispies had elves. Okay, but so no, 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 no. Cinnamon toast crunch. Here's had the man. Here's the. Oh, was it one chef or yeah. three? Oh. I here's the know. Mandela effect. Oh, rice krispies had the three dudes. Yeah, okay. Three little guys. Here's a question for you. Sprite bottles, were they ever green? No, they've always been clear. What? Dante? No, they've definitely been green. Thank you. They've they've they're they're, they're they're still green. They're no. s- they've been they've been they've clear lately. Been clear. <laughs> we have Google for yes. Reason. Please pull up the Photoshop images. Watch the Mandela effect went and cleared out the whole fucking. Dude, I will kill myself right now if because you know you remember them being fucking green, dude. The Berenstein Bears. Oh my god. Okay, what color are they? They're clear now. 
Wow, someone's good at Photoshop. That's crazy. That's oh, literally a, that's that's not a picture. That's like uh, you can buy he this made that online ad. right now. <laughs> he made well, then we need to sue that for false advertising because it's clearly fucking clear. Okay, was, I don't think it's a Mandela effect. I think you were just like not paying attention. <laughs> yeah. I was born really, 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 your entire really, life. <laughs> really late. I forgot you guys are decades older than me. <laughs> How old are you? Twenty-four. Okay, I am less he's, than half a decade older. Than you're he, a decade I, older. Than I am. Me. Yeah. Yeah. I take it in four years. I'll take it out. I'll, Dad. It's 13 years and eight months, so. <laughs> I did the math. You have to take it for the eight months. Wait, no, that plays a big part. Nine, nine months. Yeah, it's huge because it's less than 14, so. So what's the Rice Krispie then? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, no, so no, I was like, it was just making a joke because like, regardless, if there's one chef or three, they're coming out of my ass because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat a lot of cinnamon toast crunch, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming out of my ass. <laughs> no matter how many, they're coming out of my ass. They're coming out of my ass. <laughs> Out of my ass. What's your favorite cereal, Ben? You were into cereal for a minute. When we first got together, you were Cookie Crisp was our cereal. Yeah, you know what? We did Cookie Crisp. <laughs> was it? Those are these these dudes. Okay, those are the three elves. Yes, yeah. I remember the three elves. But why do I think there was there was a there was a there was, there was one chef? Yeah, I thought there was three chefs. For Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Dude, I I typed in I put like like C I N N. And then I, I I didn't complete what I was reading, but the second option was cinnamon toast crunch Crocs. That was the second option on Crocs. Crocs, oh, like Crocs. Sh- the shoes. Yeah, cause- <laughs> and I clicked that without reading it fully, but like that that's the second that's option like on Google. Those are kind of cool. You actually, type in C I N N cinnamon toast <laughs> crunch Crocs is the that reminds second. Me, we met a girl named Cummings. <laughs> Last night, we went to the bar with this girl. Her name's Cummings. She's like, hi, I'm Cummings. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, wait, really? Show me. <laughs> really? That sounds, that She's sounds, like, I'm here. I came. <laughs> I'm like, wait, so it's like C-U-M-I-N-G-S? Like, She's like Whit- no, there's two M's. <laughs> like, like Whitney Cummings. Like Whitney Cummings, yeah. Like, I'm coming. <laughs> I came. Okay, I guess this dude is not the mascot anymore, but he no, was. They, they, yeah, they got demoted. Now the mascot is just a little fucking... One of the little it's squares. Just one yeah. little square with a face. I'm like, damn, dude, you went from a chef to a fucking... It's all good. Now those guys are coming out. So how was it going in from like gay and then doing trans porn? So speaking of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, how was it going to... <laughs> 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 uh, just like in general or like difficulty yeah, or... That's kind of like um, when you do straight porn, you're like straight. When you do gay, you're gay. But when you do trans, kind of like, ooh, that's like a, d- like, ooh, like, he's like dabbling into like the freaks, basically, is what people would generalize trans people. Kind of like, ooh, that's like. Do people still think like that? Yeah, but really? kind of just like, once you're going to trans. Well, it depends on which way, which direction like, you're coming from. Kind of like burn your name down. Kind of yeah, just well, like. So what is that? So, I mean, it's weird because like, I've never thought that way. But like, growing up, I was in that conservative, like, macho man, like, mindset around people. But I never like really felt that way and it was always like oh you know faggot this but trans was never a thing well i mean like i'm not sitting here saying like trans people are freaks however i've met some (laughs) lay at the barbie anyways now we're gonna give her a little five second of clout we're gonna give it to her you know she's been tagging me a lot of stories i mean it must be tough being on crack like that in the street so girl i will give it to you and i'm gonna pull up and i'm gonna steal your man because your man has like a white girl thing that's why he like you know was really interested in me being on the show when we were on the podcast and Leah the Barbie you are a fucking freak so <laughs> I will say because like when you do gay porn it's like okay he's gay when you do straight okay he's straight but when you do trans kind of like okay well then no, what are you then right right like, well, yeah, like you, you do buy porn you're like oh he definitely he he's might bi- lean both ways we don't know how probability wise but yeah with the trans it's like what? trans is very taboo yeah it's like my thing is like I can it's frowned upon I mean, everything is frowned upon depending on from your perspective. But, like, because, like, you know, like, you just take that as you will because that's, that's yeah, literally it's, what it is. But, like, in, I can only speak from my opinion, and I feel like it applies to a lot of guys like us because it's just – it seems to make the most sense in the general perspective. But just for me, like, my opinion is that the, like, gender energy com- – like, the – the gender interest comes from the energy you put off. And so it's like if you're a trans person and you are have like heavy, 
if you put up fem, uh, heavily feminine energy, then like that's where I'm attracted to. So it's like there have been some trans people who I'm just like, like, wow, like you're fucking super attractive. Like I may not be attracted to penis as much, but it's just like your energy that you're putting off. And so I feel like that's more what people are attracted to than anything. And so then when people are like, oh, you're dating a trans person, you're not straight. And it's just like, well, I think you are. You know, it's just like if you like, I think that's really what it comes down to is yeah because your your brain is just wired to want like what the opposite or whatever energy it is that you're interested in yeah, that, makes no, that makes sense i'm not good at describing shit but you like make, i, I like, completely understand everything you're trying to say and put yeah. out yeah you yeah but, it, but a lot of people would argue that it's like argue against that but all i'm saying is like that's not what i'm saying everybody is but it's right. more just like from how i understand it within myself sure but the argument's always going to come from a biological level from like yeah you know the layman you know argument it's like oh well yeah regardless of like how this person is like the energy they're putting out you know because like all day we no matter where we go with elena it's like no one's ever going to know anything about her because she's fucking a beautiful woman you know what i mean and regardless of whatever biologically like she's a woman you know and like that's what i see and that's what i fucking vibe off it's just exactly what you said but you know what like kind of going to your point like i think i I just kind of like realized something was like you know people are like oh yeah if you're interested in trans women you're like you must be a freak or whatever but it was just like i think i uh, just a theory i think i might understand why because it's like if you people who are generally I'm ex- like yeah let's fucking hear this if Danny, you're generally let's, fuck, let's fucking hear this Danny. Pe- fuck people who here. generally accept their own sexualities tend to be freaks and so if you accept what you like because like well because if you accept what you like and you're like i'm proud of what i fucking like then you're going to be more open to liking many things aka a freak <laughs> so it's just like you're 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 proud of what you like and you're open and you always accept what you like and you're not you're not suppressing the things that you're interested in mm-hmm. not to say that being interested in trans women or is like makes you a freak but it's just you accepting that you are a lot um means you're probably accepting that you're interested in a lot of other 100 percent. you like to get peed on <laughs> uh, <laughs> i like to eat the fucking cum out of your ass like what else? I like to be tied up and restrained. I didn't know about any of this stuff until I started doing porn. So there you go. If you're gonna out me like that, well then I'm sorry to say this, but Dante, you're gonna have to pee on me later. Then it's a great. Idea. I'm into feet. I'm really into feet. I want to see you suck his feet. I will do it. Hell yeah! I'll, start, I mean, I'll shower my my. <laughs> I'm into my fucking potatoes feet. Potatoes off. She loves feet. No, but yeah, it's kind of like going back to what you were saying. Kind of like no one ever shames like a man for like oh liking guys. It's kind of like okay, he's gay. That's whatever, you know. But like. When they find out that he's been involved with like a trans woman, it's like, so what the fuck are you, dude? Like, <laughs> especially what, me, what are you? Because like I have kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dated women my whole life. Now I'm with a trans woman. Now I'm doing gay porn. You are who? Huh? Who are you dating right now? That's a trans. Oh, a trans. I'm uh, with a trans. <laughs> who are? Who's dating that? A, tr- a trans? Who a is trans? It? A baby trans? Who is? Who is? You're dating a tranny right now? Oh my god, who? What is it like dating a tranny? Pearls of the moon, no. <laughs> Pearls of the moon, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, no, like when you date, when you dab into trance, like they look at you kind of funny, kind of just like, that's weird, like that's odd. So, like, are you into guys? Are you into girls? Are you into chick with dicks? Like, what are you into? Yeah, like, that's that's people, that's like, deal, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, people don't, like, uh, because people don't like understand what they don't know or like they're not open to understanding shit so it's like they condemn what they don't understand maybe not even necessarily condemning but like in most cases yes but like even even what I'm just referring to is people are just like uh, they don't believe that there's anything that could exist besides what they understand so it's like what they know yeah yeah, because it's like you've lived your entire life only seeing through your eyes but like everybody sees through different eyes and so it's like you don't just because like you're like okay well like i like some guy who only likes girls right uh they don't understand like how the fuck can a guy fuck another guy that just doesn't make sense and then it's just like for like hearing me say like well it's about the energy of liking that other person that makes him was like yeah but i still want to fuck a tranny but like <laughs> like well what about me and it's just like so it's just like so how the fuck so if so if you uh if you if you're fucking a trans girl then you're fucking gay like and so that's it's how like, it always is yeah so it's because they there's no way for them to understand because they only have one perspective well i mean like i always said it's because they're looking at it as kind of just like a sexual acid where it's kind of like well there's a dick fucking another ball and there's a dick there that's gay but like they're not looking at it as kind of just like energy vibes okay if you, know you fuck I mean? like a cis girl on the ass are you gay like, yeah if, <laughs> if, if, if I, look if i if i shoot a scene with a cis girl an anal scene mm-hmm. and, no, I, and and my camera angle and my camera angle is strictly on my dick and her ass 
that could be taken as a straight up gay scene if you watch it like that. So how about that? We're doing gay shit with girls now. Well, I mean, like they're looking at kind of like dick. Like, how could you fuck another person when there's a dick there and call yourself like straight? Because a lot of guys who date trans girls are like, I'm straight. You know? And my my direct question back to that man is, how can you drive your fucking six speed Acura and rub that fucking stick like it's a dick while you're fucking shifting? The, and, like the. Yeah, it's like you're. A, I, I have mean, a drive my drive. Like, I drive, bro, I drive jack- a manual, but like jacking that's off is gay. <laughs> jacking off is gay. Actually, you know what? For any guys that are watching, if you touch your own dick, that's, that's gay. gay. Because if your hand is touching a penis so good that it fucking nuts. You, you're doing that way too fucking well. You can, might as well go fuck a tranny. You know what, motherfucker? You better make sure I'm putting cameras in all the bathrooms around town. And if <laughs> any of you people are touching your dicks without like fucking gloves on or like a tweet, you're all Dude, fast. I saw this TikTok recently and it was like, I'm sure I could find it, but it's like, <laughs> It's like it's like one of those memes where it's uh like a video of like video game gameplay going on. Okay. Like people are just like talking and they're over talking it. over it. My yeah. son's like, Dad, you should do that. You should share all your crazy drug stories on. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a, there was this one where it was just like this guy like talking to his his buddies on like chat or whatever, and he's like, boys. If you uh, is it gay if you like if you if to masturbate and like he's like. And then he goes into all that. And, and then someone's gaming the whole time. You yeah. Watching someone game but the, so but the then it's like he keeps going deeper and deeper. And he's like, boys, <laughs> is it gay to be a boy? You are literally in a boy's skin. <laughs> it's like, boys, is it gay to look in a mirror? Because you are literally looking at it. To, and he's like, boys, oh, is it gay to that? kiss a girl? That girl's kissed other boys. But he's, it's, it's, it's funny the way he's taking it. I'm like, like, what the fuck? <laughs> the second to the last one you just said, to look at yourself in the mirror... My son, bro, he's about to be 16. We I, we talked about this before, but like, long story short, I noticed some things on his mirror, and I'm like, I recognize that from back in the day when I used to jack off on my mirror and like shoot loads on it. And we we're like, we called him out, we're like, hey, bro, like, what's the deal? And he's like, no, 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 no. You know, he was doing that, but he wouldn't admit to it because the reason why is like, I'm like, bro, are you like looking at yourself in the mirror and busting nuts on the mirror he's like fuck no that's gay dad i would never look at myself and jack off i'm like it's you <laughs> he's like that's still gay <laughs> so the kids these days are on a whole nother level dude these kids are on a whole nother level for many of reasons but <laughs> everyone's feelings are hurt by the way anybody who's watching under the age of 18 your feelings are all hurt right now everyone's really upset so with that being said how's like dating being in porn i was like, waiting for this question yeah i know right dude, I, I always want to know because like it's so good for me and him. I mean, it, for context, I believe I'm a sociopath, so it's hard for me to date oh anyways. But Tell me, because she calls me a sociopath all the time. So I want to meet another and see, like... I'm not. I think there's like the funny, like, like, hey, like you're a sociopath, like, yeah, like, no, the, she, like the, 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 like the, the, the funny. Like the she yeah. genuinely means it. She says it like with her fucking. Okay, chest. how would you feel if you saw like two people just get murdered, like cut, chopped in half in front of your face? Daddy, <laughs> she <laughs> might not get affected, dude. I don't know. Okay, so, so that's how I realized, like, oh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm like sociopath because yeah. I, I saw that happen and I was just like, I feel nothing. Like this is. You didn't feel. You were like, you didn't like, damn. Like, yeah, no, and I was like, like I was that trying person to, like, might have a family. Well, one, like, one, well no, the, and then like the mother would like ran up to the girl her, her daughter who yeah. was right there who just got chopped in half by a car holy shit and I was, she was like like ah! and so like it was but like the one uh, the dude next to her who was like knocked the fuck out his legs were all bust up and shit like we're trying to help him and I was just like trying to like figure out like how to like get him to start breathing while I'm uh-huh. this whole time I'm just like not feeling anything I was just, like that's kind of fucked up but you know what like, but it's also like if you don't care when people die around you like your friends or family and shit like that. but anyways on to the dating thing I yeah, believe I'm like, I'm how a, the fuck well, we're getting on to <laughs> like because I'm like damn I'm starting to identify with all sorts of shit because <laughs> i saw so, this one <laughs> so there so it's like uh it, because like it's it's uh it's hard for me to make create emotional connections but when i do it's like very very rare but it's like all my emotions go all my emotions go into that person so it's just like you know like i only have like realistically like two people i would like be like these are my friends like you know it's so but it's like i have a lot of people who i'm like really friendly with and i have a great time and acquaintances that are just like but it's like i don't have like a connection towards them so like, as far as dating goes it's the same thing it's hard for me to like i can find a lot of cool girls that i'm just like oh my god you're fucking amazing and like you're i appreciate the hell out of you and you're hot and this this and this but then i'll get tired of them like so fast but so it's like 
that makes it hard as it is. Yeah. But so there have been a couple people here and there that I found, but it is very hard to date within the industry because it's like, um, without experience of dating, I only speak from my own experience here. So it's like without experience dating, it's kind of hard. It's like, you're trying to learn how to run before you can walk. Yeah. And so it's like, you need to like, I, at least I need to kind of like work my way up to shit, but like, I'm trying to like go right into an open relationship. You yeah. Know? And it's, it's not the easiest thing to do. And so, um, the, my, I've only had like realistically like one girlfriend. Okay. And that was, how long was that relationship? It was like only like seven months, but okay. it was like, um, yeah, we broke up like last year, but it was, uh, it was difficult. We, we broke up for other reasons. Like I couldn't trust her for shit, but like, it's just, it's really tricky. So it's like, it's hard to date outside of the industry because, you know, most people won't understand, you know, there's obviously exceptions, but it's kind of hard to find those people. And then also find people that like those people that I can connect with. And then it's hard to find people within the industry because, you know, you have to find people you can trust and right. people who are like, and then there's a lot of fucking crazy people in the industry. Yeah, like, let's be honest. But it's I'm like, so but there's, I mean, but there's so many co cool, beautiful humans. Like, like don't, don't get me wrong. Like, it's not like it's so bad, but it's like, it's really hard to find someone who's understanding because everyone that, for, for very, very, very lack of better words, everybody has their own agenda. There's there's a better way to say that, but agenda sounds bad, but it's just like everybody wants Mona? to do... Did you say no, it's like everybody wants to do what they want they're to focused. do. They're, yeah, focused. Yeah, they're, they're, they're focused. Their focus is driven. Everyone's very, yeah. like, like one goal focus, and not everybody's just lining up. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, so it's like you have to find a way to, for that to shit find to, those people that are yeah. you lining up with the same focus and, and goals and kind of surround yourself yeah, with those exactly. people. And then when that happens, it's very rare. Because we're, like, so sexually jaded people. So, like, once <laughs> you start, like, get into one path, like, that's, that's just what you do, and there's nothing wrong with it. But it's, like, it's usually people's interests are so far, like, in one direction mm -hmm. that it's just, like, it's hard to, like, kind of, like, like line it up you know yeah. and you're a smart dude you know that like once you're on that trajectory and you're focused and you're going and you're doing well it, it makes absolutely zero sense to jump off that path and go into something else yeah without having like your future set for yourself you and, know? I, and it's like more so in the emotional sense too because it's like I, I try to do that like there was like a girl who like like straight up needed an open relationship like fuck outside of the like outside of work and stuff and i was just like I knew how hard it was for me to like find people that I like. So I'm just like, maybe like this is a sign, like, you know, maybe you got to try to like, you know, put yourself out there, like really, really try. And I was just like fucking suffering. I'm like, I can't fucking do this. And so it's just, it's just like, it was draining. Well, it wasn't draining. It was just like fucking like tearing my heart out, you know? So it's like, okay. So it's like, it's, you gotta like, it just, sometimes it just doesn't work. So it's just like, you have to, you have to like, Take baby steps. So know? what I hear you yeah. saying is like you know that when that person does come, you love super hard. You yeah, know, yeah, and because it's like it's, because you are that way, it's better that you stay what you're doing right now because when that time does come, your focus is going to be yeah. Conflicted and I'm not sense. like I'm not like stuck in my ways. It's just more like if we want to try stuff, then like we need to like work our way to it, not just like all of a sudden just be like slow. We're yeah, here, slowly you know? work your way into that. Yeah. yeah. So it's um. But yeah, so it's like I'm. I, I just do what I do until like I find someone. Then like I'm always like the one that's like willing to change like everything. But it's just like yeah. I need time, you know. Right. And like trust, trust is fucking huge. Yeah, trust and yeah, trusting yourself and then trusting other people and knowing that you know they're impeccable with their word and, uh, you know, trust issues are a huge thing. Like I come in in our relationship like because I didn't trust myself and uh, the last couple people I was with I didn't trust. I carried that same baggage into this and like this one is like bar none the most perfect person ever like she really is like the most perfect partner like doesn't do anything wrong She's and like, like, right she, <laughs> she really is you know what i mean and like coming into that i'm like my I'm my, my like skeletons my you know like she'll go out and i'm like Meh, like what if there's other guys that, you know i'm like and this is all basically he came into this thinking i was like the biggest fucking slut and Whoa. he thought i was cheating on him every single fucking week and so in his head, he's like, oh, my God, I, I have to do something about it. I have to get even. But I was just at home. Like, you thought I was cheating on you. You thought I was, like, flirting with other dudes. I literally wasn't. Yeah, and, and the reason being why I'm an overthinker and, like, what got into my head, and I told you this, we've talked about it, is, you know, the – the body count, right, right at the bat, I'm like, God damn, her body count's really high. Wait, you're like, just a slutty. I know, I know, and because, hypocrite. because, because yeah. I didn't, I wasn't but aware But Andrew of my... Tate says it's okay, so. <laughs> no, but he was like, he was like, he was like, oh, your body count's 700 or 600, that's too much. I'm like, let's count fucking yours. And he's like, mine's like 200. And right I'm like, it. he's like, and I'm, and he's like, thinking about it. He was like, wait a minute, but with porn and then escorting, I'm probably right about there with you. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, and he's so like interesting because he's like, my body count outside of porn, like three. I'm like, 
That's no, not three. I'm like, that's not how body count works. Like, body count means total of whoever you general, fucking been with. Yeah. And he's like, sectioning and he's like, like escorting my body counts like a hundred. But with porn, it's like four. I'm like bodies entirely. That's what body count All fucking body. means. Yes. Oh, so like snipers aren't like, well, I killed this guy. Like it was like in between more. Like <laughs> everybody that you've killed is a body count. Everybody yes. you fucked is a body count. So yes. as we know, uh, my body count may be at the same as yours or higher. And I again, I carried that bullshit uh, into this. And you know, trust again, we're talking about trust. And I was. Um, I didn't do, yeah. Anyways, talk all the shit in the comments. So, yeah, please do. <laughs> I'm tired of this. So, like, what's your ideal relationship like for you? Like, do you do you want, like, an open relationship then, you feel? Um, like, for n- right now, what would work for you? Right now, I think, like, I would just, I say I want something, but I don't know. Like, because I could be thrown into a different situation. And then, because I have this shit like that's happened before, like, be like, I want this. And then give you give me something else. And it's like, oh, actually, like, this this works. Like, you know, so uh, I would say, like, right now, I would, like, want more so monogamous ish. Like, even, like, with not even with work, just kind of like where it's like you're not filming so much with other people. Like, but it's just like, you know, the more monogamous, the better. And like, even and that being the case, like I would slow down like too. So it's just like, cause like I, I also, I'm getting kind of fucking tired of like porn, like just filming so much. Cause it's like emotionally it takes a toll on, I think pretty much everybody is just like different time. Well, then with that being said, your guys' shoot is canceled today. We need to give him a break. <laughs> oh no, no, no. no <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm taking my breaks. Like I, 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 t- I make my space. I'm like, we can't exhaust him. I He's- thought you were my manager. What the fuck? <laughs> But it, no, no, it's like I, I take my space, but it's like that's why I'm not like filming as much anymore. So it's just like I pick and choose what I what I do. But uh, yeah, so I, I'd want something more on the monogamous side, and then like work my way into it. But it's like I wouldn't say I want an open relationship right off the bat. But it's like like it'd, it'd be cool to be in an open relationship, but like like outside of work and stuff. But it's like if that was never the case, I'd be totally cool with that. But it would almost just be the mindset of like we could get there. But like we don't ever have to do it. Just being like we are, we are cool with each other to that level where we could do it, we could practice it, and we'd be okay with it. But it's like we don't. It's not like we would need to do it, kind of a thing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we're we're so cool with each other, but that we were open to it. But it's not like we need to. You put a lot of thought into that. I think a lot. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Just put that out there, bro. You know, like it, see, I was gonna ask you, like, cause the your the way you think and the way that you like vocalize your thoughts, you you do pretty well with like putting your thoughts into words and like. The way you think, you're open. You're not. You seem very like non-judgmental. Like, what was your like? Childhood's always a huge thing. You know what I mean? Like, especially people watching. Like, everybody has trauma. A lot of people like Elena has absolutely zero trauma. We took a like childhood trauma chest the other day and like zero. She scored zero on it. It's like zero through ten. Like, and anything above five, it's likely that in your your adult years you'll experience anxieties you know potential mental illness issues like you're more apt to having that she's a zero mine was a six and someone else that we did was an eight but like and then danny scored 11 out of 10 okay <laughs> like how the fuck there's only 10 questions danny didn't agree with it because this was all the, the test that we took was about was before growing up a child before 18 but it's all things that you witness or things that may have happened to you and danny was like this is bullshit because it didn't talk about my feelings <laughs> and feelings are Feelings are I'm like, like babe, nobody cares what you're fucking feeling. <laughs> we only care about is facts, Danny. And the fact is, you had a perfect fucking childhood. <laughs> you're from Illinois, Addison, right? Is it yeah. Addison, Illinois? Yeah. yeah, I did. I did my research. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I thought you're like you were like, are, are you Daddy, from like, there? I'm like, <laughs> Addison, <laughs> the fucking psychic skills coming right back. No, he does this thing where like whoever I have on the show, I tell him ahead of time, and he does the research. And then just like he like knows more a little about them. And then I had this girl come on and I was like, no, Audrina, Audrina. Yes. Jay Marie. Mm. And so she came on. And so he was like, okay, so you're born this day, blah, blah. And then she looked at me and she was like, I didn't tell him that girl. Like, like, I- like, <laughs> so, like, like you're born December 8th. You're Sagittarius. Yeah, she's all, she's all girl. What the fuck? Like, How you know? No. Like, I, I did not. So. <laughs> that means she was like, by the way, like, before you stab at me, I didn't tell him that. Like, <laughs> yeah, because it looked, it made him look so, like, it made it, the whole situation look very, like, I'm like, if I didn't know anybody, like, how the fuck do you know so much about her? Like, did you guys talk? But she was like, before you start, like, he, I didn't tell him that. And it was just really funny because he does his research. So. <laughs> Looping back around. So, um, <laughs> you had a pretty rad childhood, I'm guessing. I mean, is that technically Midwest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so pretty calm, like. 
dip it. Yeah, Pretty. I think I would also score probably a zero on the trauma yeah. the test. Like, I, I mean, I like the the worst thing. That's I was, why him and I are both sociopaths. You know what I mean? Like when you grow up too good, <laughs> it's too good to be true. You gotta you fuck know? yourself up. <laughs> yeah, the fuck up is you. You are the problem at that point. You fuck yourself up and just start fucking yourself somehow. <laughs> uh, but like, I would say like the worst thing I like went through that would probably have like the most effect as like, like issues that I have um is like I was just like the outcast in school like all throughout high, like even through like high school and shit like I was like I barely had any friends and really shit. like and was, I was just like I was trying to uh be accepted and so that, then I'm like I would just like shoot myself in the foot doing that because I would just come off as like you like, like try, like, like try hard or, or like yeah. try to do something funny you know uh, yeah and so, yeah really that's crazy yeah so like uh, did people make up like bullshit stories like rumors about you and shit too or, or was it more uh, just like like no, he like tries so. too hard it was like yeah it's just like I like I was just kind of like yeah it was just the outcast like what a uh, fucking flip around bro yeah so it's just like i just oh. i just wa- always wanted to be <laughs> accepted so like, i think that's like comes in like there's like things that like come into that like but so i wouldn't call that a trauma but it's just like that would say that has the biggest effect but like uh you think that was a motivator uh yeah i think because like even with work like all like all i ever want to do is just be like i want everybody to be like okay like he's he's, he's cool like you know like we want to work with him and like if someone um even like now it's like it doesn't like hurt but it's just i still want everybody to want to be able to work with me but if someone's like oh, i don't like you i'm like I'd, like it doesn't bother me yeah. like which is like i'm like that's progress you know that's an so. example of so um so you having a good child and your parents are still married I'd, yeah i imagine they're yeah, still married. i'm a very 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 lucky person i will so not stress like that you were able to take that situation that for somebody who did have trauma growing up they would have taken that and it would have been that energy would have been used negatively against themselves but what you were able to do because you don't have that fucking issue is that energy you took as a motivating factor and i'm pretty sure i'd say that you're doing pretty well with being accepted what do you think well well thanks man i mean i'm i, just, I think i do my best <laughs> i think everybody accepts you now bro what do you think i mean like, thank you <laughs> do you, do you, I, do you I, accept I, Dante? Uh, sometimes just, I'm kidding. Uh, someone say no please would, <laughs> I'm like, wait hold on would you would you accept his penis <laughs> <laughs> I'll wrap a bow on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if there's gonna be a bow on it, I kind of have to. If it's if it's sent uh, with a tag out to Elena from Dante, I kind of have. It'd be rude not to. As long as it doesn't pop out by like the the, the caked poop dick with a bow on it, like. Yeah, that would <laughs> be Oh, it's fine. it's still covered from last time. <laughs> I never cleaned it. <laughs> <Ew. this. laughs> that was four years ago. There's like fucking worms on it and stuff. <laughs> No. No. I think we I mean we hit I mean we hit on a lot but oh yeah w- before we close out um I wanted to touch on being that you know you're slowing down with shooting doing studio stuff and um I wanted to touch on cross love hmm. because oh, yes. because you you know well, well he and I shot with Lumi with that but let's yeah. kind of just touch on that like what is that that's is that something that you started on your own that you're like is that a channel or is that a site like yeah so it, it was like a Everybody was like always like tell me like you guys start directing and I was like no fuck that shit um, it's just like <laughs> that's what everybody else does like they all fucking shoot porn do good and then they become directors well or, it's not that like, like oh I don't want to be like everybody else but it's just like you, you know how fucking stressful it is to be a director like all dude, the responsibility dude, no, on I you see, I see people aging yeah dude it's ridiculous and like the pay is like not worth it but and so like basically I kind of like came to the scene where I was like oh well you know what? I do like to be in control I do like to be creative I do like to film but I only like to film my way um, and so that's kind of what this was. Um, and, uh, and I just kind of wanted to create a studio site with it and, you know, maybe turn a website. It's currently just an only fans account, right. but like, I'm on, honestly, I'm canning it just cause it's like, it, I've been running for a while. It wasn't doing as it well. It didn't as pick as up that much on Instagram and, or, you know, or it, like Twitter on social or media. Like it picked up a decent bit, but it was just like on only, only fans. Like it's, I'm not getting a lot. So I'm, I'm just like, I've like, I still have like a shitload of videos to put out. So I'm just going to run it. And then like, uh, you know, maybe work on other tactics. But I was, I was literally, I have a website built for it uh-huh. and I was about to launch it. But then I was just like, it's not worth it right now. Yeah. So I'm just going to can it for a while and then like re- release everything and see how it does. And then like put everything on Pornhub and X videos, like, like the free versions of it. Right. For, the like, little yeah, five minute clips. Yeah. For the next like, year, no come shot. Yeah. For the next like year plus or whatever. <laughs> Those and are the then worst. If something happens out of it, then maybe I'll pick it back up. But yeah, that's, 
Yeah. Do you think it was because it was mainly buy stuff that it just didn't get the traction? It's mostly straight stuff. Oh, is it mostly straight? Yeah, okay. but it's like, I think it's just like I didn't put enough effort into it because okay. like, the whole idea about it was lazy. Like, do, <laughs> make it do it like as easily as Little possible. Little effort. Like, we're going to do the yeah. least to try to make the most out of it. Yeah, like I could have taken better. Nothing is more lazy than a tripod. I'll say that right now. But no. I did not, I I did not have a tripod. Exactly. No, I was there. <laughs> you never had a tripod. You had a whole ass person. So it's clearly good production you know but it's like i could have taken more pictures pre like shoes stuff like more clothes pictures pictures of the performers I mean, like, and that but like our you learn as advertising. you go and like that's very much like, like full, that's like yeah. full on studio shit right there like studio work and like you don't need to be doing all that for like content like yeah but it's, it it's great to do the but, then, to make it a but then at that point like, if you're gonna be doing that you might as well just run your own studio Right, that's what that's what this was. Yeah, well, that's what it was supposed to be. That was the idea. Yeah. But it was that just, was like the fucking birth child for it. Yeah. yeah. Like, so if it happens, it work. happens. If not, it's like it's like I tried it, I had fun, and now I have a fuckload of content I could play with for years to come. <laughs> so before we close out, I have one burning question, Dante. Yes. Do you regret doing porn? No, fuck no. <laughs> no, it was like the best That'd choice be I ever did. Dude, <laughs> fucking, be like, yeah. I wish time, I would have been an architect. Like, what the fuck? A lot no. of times, I'm like, a lot of times, I regret fucking doing OnlyFans. That's just OnlyFans. I'm really? like, yeah, because I'm like, fuck. Like, there's so much shit of me out there that's gonna make it so hard for me to do anything in the future. And I'm like, crap. Oh, like, I kind of so regret now. that. Yeah. Like, because like people are like mm. going from porn to acting. Like, it's like it's like times are changing. I think with people are a lot. I think more that's awesome there. though that 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 door has been opened. Actually, I'm shooting a Netflix pilot on uh, oh, March third. Yeah. Good dude. for you, man. Yeah. So it's a small it's a small little fucking role, but it's definitely a um it's about sex work too. Actually. Oh, nice. It's uh the the the, the gist of it is this guy is a doctor in Africa and moves to the US and um, gets his work visa, but he has to go to medical school, school to get like vamped up on, on American, you know, the way that they, they get their licensing here in the United States, different than in Africa. T- runs out of time on his visa, runs out of money, and he's like, fuck, I, what am I gonna do? And so he is watching Pornhub one night and an ad pops up for escorting and the guy who's doing the escorting ad like the commercial is me so <laughs> I'll be like hey bro you want to make some money like what That's I, I don't know awesome. yeah I'll, I get the script like actually tomorrow for my agent but um I'm stoked on that because I, I when I came into this I was like you know what I'm definitely I'm gonna do this I'm gonna you know figure out who I am through this but I know that um I love acting and I love scripts and I love like getting into character detail and so um i was like you know what? this is gonna be a stepping stone i know that though there will be opportunities that open up open up down the road and um this is one of them so i'm excited for it so that's awesome, yeah man. let's should. go netflix yeah. netflix just opened up the door for gay confused porn stars like myself <laughs> to um try to find their way in the world <laughs> but yes before we close out dante <laughs> is there is there any exactly <laughs> Plug him. Bend over, you know? Like, <laughs> is there anything you want to plug? We need to have, like, a butt plug somewhere. Like, just be know, like, a, is there anything you want to plug? Is there you wanna plug? One, yeah. But before we close out, is there anything you want to plug? Uh, it's my social media is uh, hippiegq underscore for all across the board. My OnlyFans is Dante underscore Cole. And it's D-A-N-T-E. I didn't, C-O-L-L-E. Uh, yeah, I spelled it with D-O-N. I'm like, what the Everybody fuck is this guy? Like, Everybody oh, th- he's not. He's white. Like, there's an A. I'm like, right? I'm like God damn it. He's shadow banned everywhere. Dante with D-O-N-T. Yeah, no. He, he spells apparently. it D-A-N-T, though. No, the normal, way, the normal way is D-O-N-T. No, the normal way is D-A-N-T because it comes from Italian Dante's, origins. Oh, yes. Dante's Inferno. Yeah. Damn. My friend's dog is Dante Visconti. I'm thinking of um <laughs> the fucking dress. <laughs> You're so thinking of... I'm thinking of Don Siago, uh, that maybe, because he's had a D-O-N. Fucking dreadlocks. Most like POC that. guys named Dante are going to go with an O rather than yeah. an A. But yeah, it's so funny because like, everybody's like, he's like, why is your name so Dante? That's a black people's name. I was like, no, like, I'm Italian, rich, and this is an Italian name, so get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> get fucked, all right? Yeah. But anything you want to plug? Uh-huh. Um, some other things might get plugged here after the show. I'm not sure. Okay, so basically, there's gonna be a lot of content being happening after this. So if you guys want to see that, mm. we're yeah. plugging all three of us right Dude, now. You I, like, you're the only other person I know that does that. The- I do it all the time. <laughs> my my roommate Leo was like the one that showed me that, so we just like communicate throughout the house. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, things are gonna get plugged. So I will I will film a lot of content with these two right now. So if you guys want to see that link in the description box, link in the description picture. box down below. Danny just fucking dropped her popcorn when she heard that. By the way. Yeah. And you'll never. 
<laughs> Y'all never guess who's gonna be filming our content. Little baby girl Danny over here. So <laughs> Danny's camera work. She's debuting her new media account right there. But you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, actually, you're gonna close out. <laughs> close this thing out for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, let's get demonetized, you guys. Bye guys. Thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely, bro.